Perhaps the only firm with the broadest selection of e-ink products is Onyx Books. On one end of the scale, the firm sells e-readers like the Poke 4 Lite, which is a 6-inch e-ink display, and on the other, something as large as the Mirror Pro, which is a monstrous 25-inch e-ink display. The Mirror Pro, on the other hand, targets a narrow market. It costs more than most other displays by a factor of several at $1,800. The Mirror Pro is still unique and offers a number of benefits, so in a way, its expensive price is justified. The Mirror Pro's size and simplicity are the first things that draw attention to them. It is without a doubt the largest e-ink gadget that money can purchase in the consumer market at 25.3 inches. Despite this, it is remarkably light and manageable. It's also a breeze to set up. The bolts and the stand are all included in the package. All you need is a Phillips screwdriver. All you need to do to get started is tighten the screws and secure the monitor stand. Additionally, the monitor supports plug and play. A power adapter, an HDMI cable, two USB-C cables, and a wall port are already included in the box. You won't ever require anything else to utilize the display to its full potential. Additionally, you won't need to run any special software. You will only need to plug those in as needed. The perfect construction quality gives the whole item a perfect balance between strength and stability. The stand is cleverly made so that the monitor may be positioned in either portrait or landscape depending on the situation. To guarantee you always have the ideal angle to work with the monitor, it also supports up and down movement of up to 50 millimeters and tilt movement of up to a maximum of 40 degrees. The display has several physical buttons, including a power button that also serves as the refresh button, a page turning and selection button, and another push button for the menu selections. As was already noted, the display is only 25.3 inches. The widescreen ink carded display offers a 3200 by 1800 resolution and a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. It features 16 shades of gray and 145 ppi of pixel density. The four possible display options are normal, video, text, and reading. In addition to this, the monitor has speed controls, giving you access to a total of 28 speed modes. The most frequently used mode is normal mode. Additionally, this mode provides a balanced environment where neither videos nor texts are given priority. Despite this, both are displayed flawlessly in normal mode when the speed is set to a higher number, such as 6. The texts are presented really nicely, but the ghosting effect is quite noticeable. Despite this, given how seamless and lag-free the video playback is, it is the video playback that presents the largest surprise. While it is true that at a lower speed level, the video playing becomes jerky and pixelated, there is none of this at a higher setting. Text option. This mode causes some choppy action. However, the text seems clear and brilliant, and must be used when typing. Reading mode when reading ebooks, reading mode should be activated, as should be obvious. However, the whole ebook reading experience described in the reading book is hard and compelling. The rendering of text takes longer than you might anticipate, with the delay being more noticeable when displaying images. Although things become significantly more complicated at a lower speed setting, this is still obvious at the greater speed option. The ghosting effect, however, is minimal or non-existent in the reading mode. It's interesting how much better things are when the text mode is used. The contents and visuals are noticeably improved, as is the navigation. Even though the image does appear a little bit diluted, but not as pixelated as it did in the reading mode, remnants of previous presentations won't disturb you much either. In fact, the improvement is so significant that reading ebooks might switch from the reading mode to the text mode as the default setting. When watching videos, the video mode should be selected. The saturation and contrast are precisely right, and there is no lag during playing. It's important to note that the video mode and normal mode have effects that are somewhat comparable, making both suitable for watching videos. A great feature-rich app from Books is available that can connect to the Mirror Pro. Simply click on one of the provided preset settings to alter the refresh mode. They consist of the speed mode, text mode, read mode, image mode, and video mode, as was previously mentioned. In addition to this, the program provides display settings, allowing you to adjust the resolution, the pointer, and the theme. Other features of the app include shortcuts, which let you program single or multiple key presses to perform a range of activities. These include things like modifying the warm light brightness, changing the pace, adjusting the contrast, changing the light color filter, and performing a complete refresh. The general option gives language settings, full refresh automatically at a predetermined period, anti-shake automatically, and auto-launch when the device is started. The reset option, as its name implies, will clear all of the app's values. Here, you may also construct a mode from scratch and customize the settings for things like refresh rate, dark color enhancement, light color filter, etc. These settings will be invoked by simply clicking on the mode after the parameters have been saved. This is useful if the monitor is being used in a shared space where other people are also working on the same thing. Others might favor using various settings and modes. 
The values you set will take effect by clicking on the mode you have saved. This will spare you from having to reset each setting individually. Anyone using the display can actually store their own modes. There are many advantages to the Mir Pro. On a consumer-grade gadget, it features the largest e-ink display ever discovered. Additionally, it offers the fastest refresh rate of any e-ink tablet now on the market, ensuring almost lag-free video viewing. Despite the fact that the device is still not suitable for watching films due to the monochromatic display, it does have some advantages. The device's 28 speed options guaranteed that there is almost any ghosting, while the pages move nicely. Thanks to the flexibility to adjust color and contrast to fit specific needs, images also appear lovely and proportionate. Another benefit of the Mir Pro is the companion app, which enables almost complete customization of the device. The monitor is made of aluminum and is lightweight, while also having a rock-solid build quality. It is superbly constructed, and the materials used are of the highest caliber. For those who can afford it, the Mir Pro is generally regarded as one of the best large screen ink monitors available. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it was helpful for you. Have a nice day and see you soon.